sing this is my desire this is my desire Yeah. 
can use I give myself, I give myself away I give myself away So you can use me I give myself away Come on, let's just lift our voice and sing I give myself away so you can you I give myself I give myself away I give myself away so you can you I give myself I give myself away I give myself away Myself away, I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Come on, sing, give myself away so you can use me. I give, I give myself away. myself away so you can I give myself I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me but life is not my own to you I belong I give myself I give myself to you Sing my life My life is not my own To you I belong I give myself I give myself to you My life My life is not my own Myself to you, my life. My life is not my own. To you, I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. I give myself, I give myself away. I give myself away. Lift up your voices and praise His name. Tell Him how thankful you are for His glory and for His mercy. Give Him all the praise. Oh Jesus, you are holy. Give myself away. Give myself away so you can you me for the last time give myself away come on I want to hear you guys sing give myself Hi, Father. You are worthy to be glorified, Father. We want to thank you for today, Father. Thank you for the lovely day that you have given us, Father. We commit everyone's life into your hand, Father, and we commit the preacher's life into your hand. I pray that you'll bless him or her, Father. 
and whatever we we'll learn today father we pray for your holy spirit and then we pray that you will apply that into our lives father and we pray for those who are not here father I pray that you will protect them and guide them so next week they can be here to glorify you father we commit this service into your hand father in jesus name i pray amen man why don't we sit down and take out our bibles i like to invite brother joyce who will bring us the word of god for tonight give a big hand clap praise the lord god is good all the time my name is joyce as all of you know uh before i begin my preaching i would like a volunteer to come and join me anyone don't worry you don't have to preach for me anyone wants to volunteer who said pinku come Don't have to preach don't worry come Okay what did he do Right what did he do after calling Piku's name he came in Right Tell me one thing He he had so much faith and believe that if he sits on this chair he won't fall and he won't get hurt right because he just came he lifted his hands and he said <laughs> did he check that it was the chair broken or anything why didn't he check wait so what because he is a faith he had faith he was confident enough he had confidence enough right He had that much confidence and that much faith in this chair that he said that is also he also had that much trust in this chair that whoever made this chair made it so strong that if he sits on it he won't fall right you can go have a seat again my preaching for tonight is about trust trusting who right trusting god but not man he trusted that chair although but also you should remember that you should have trust in god also because if we ever fall who will lift us up right if you're walking on the road going somewhere who is there with us next to us true and for children when you are in school you're about to start doing an exam what do you do first pray to god right why do you pray to god to give us knowledge true okay um let us open our bibles to jeremiah 17:7 and 8 17 17 7 and 8 7 to 8 Jeremiah 17 17 verse 7 to 8 Don't you want to read for us? Why not? Someone wants to read for us? 17 17 Yes Adriel will read for us. <laughs> Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord, for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when <coughs> heat comes, but its leaf will be green and not not be anxious in the year of drought nor will 
cease from yielding to Everyone got what he said? Okay, it says here, let me read it again. 17:8. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the sea that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Uh, as you know that if you leave a tree out by itself and you don't give in sun or water or anything, what will happen to the leaf? It will die, obviously. But what does the Bible tell us? Why it will never dry? It is only if you trust in the Lord. Because it says in the first part of that, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. So our lives are also sometimes like a tree. If we are not connected with God, we'll have troubles in our lives. We will have sicknesses in our life. The Bible doesn't tell us that we won't have those things. It, it will come to us. But the Bible also tells us that we need to trust in the Lord that we are able to overcome all of those, right? There are a series of things that I will ask. There are questions that we ask ourselves sometimes that gives us doubt any time of our lives. Some common questions that we, some common, common questions that we have are, you are always alone. We feel that we are always alone. We feel that we are afraid. We feel that when work, school, or whatever pressure comes our way, we cannot manage. We feel that whatever task, sometimes we are given some task that we cannot do it. And sometimes we are also that we are, will not be able to have that much strength or willpower in us to do anything. I am not smart enough for students who are sitting for exams. Sometimes we feel that, oh, maybe I never studied enough, I will not be able to pass, I am not that smart. And we sit in the corner and we think, oh, that child, look at him, he's so smart. He comes first, he gets 100, he gets that. You can also do that because you serve a living God who is greater than who he serves. There may be something lacking in you, that is why you're not able to get that 100. Is it? Or can you get 100? Oh, you can't get 100, Benjamin. You can? You can. Also, sometimes we think that we are not worth it. That we are left out, some people have forgotten us, we lose friends. But remember, if God takes away friends from you, he'll give you better friends later. Sometimes we also feel that nobody loves you. But always remember, God says, I have loved you. And I will forever love you. Sometimes we also say that the things that we are about to do, it is impossible to do. And sometimes we are too tired. But remember, God always has an answer. Like I said, when we feel afraid, God tells us, I will never leave you. And from the Bible, it's in Hebrews 13.5. Keep your lives free from the love of money <clears throat> and be satisfied with what you have. For God, he said, I will never leave you, I will never abandon you. What a wonderful promise we have from our father. Doesn't our, fa doesn't our physical fathers also tell us that sometimes? But sometimes we do not have them with us forever, right? But always remember that God is always with you. He's next to you. <clears throat> He's in your heart. For the second one, I am afraid. But what does the Bible tell us? In 2 Timothy 1.7, For the spirit that God has given us does this make, make us fearful. Instead, his spirit fills us with power, love, and self-control. And the next one, I cannot manage. <clears throat> Remember, God also said, in Philippians 4.19 And with all his abundant wealth through Jesus Christ, my God will supply all your needs. As you all know, heaven is made out of gold. And what is more expensive than gold? Nothing. 
So your father is more richer than any other wealth that you have in this world. So when you don't have enough with you, don't worry. One day will be that you will have a lot. <clears throat> and when you say, I cannot do it, who knows what was Celeste Saravi for me? Yes, you know him. What's his favorite memory verse? If you know him, you should know his favorite memory verse. Sounds what? No. I, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. See, not does only God give us that, that if you are weary, he will give us strength, right? He also tells us, if you cannot do it, he is there to help you with it. Since we, all, we sometimes always look up to people who are famous, right? So use Serevi as an example. He, used, he uses that memory verse always whenever he plays. I think he also had an arm bam with it. And that's why he was named the best player in sevens. And he's still named the best player because he always gave glory to our father. Is that true? Yes. That is why Fiji has been still undefeated then and now. Although I don't cheer for Fiji, by the way. <laughs> I cannot go on. Then God also tells us in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, but his, but his answer was, my grace is all you need, for my power is greatest when you are weak. I am most happy then to be proud of my weaknesses in order to feel the protection of God's power over us. How wonderful is that? When you're not able to do it, God gives you the power to do it. There's a lot of things that God has promised us. For students, like we have said, I'm not smart enough. Let me give you a verse from the Bible. I'll give you two verses for that. And maybe you can write this down also when you are studying, you can use it. The first one is 1 Corinthians 1.30. And the second one is Proverbs 2.6. 1 Corinthians 1.30 says, But God has brought you into union with Christ Jesus, and Lord has made Christ to be our wisdom. By him we are put right with God. We become God's holy people and we are set free. And Proverbs 2.6 tells us, It is the Lord who gives wisdom. From him comes knowledge and understanding. Who gives you wisdom? Understanding? So now when you are doing your exam, who will you trust more? You're studying or your teachers or who? Doesn't mean you don't study. Because if you don't study, obviously God won't help you then. God says, do your part and I will do my part. And when you feel that nobody loves you, God says it in his favorite memory verse ever. Everyone knows this, John 3.16. That he loved the world so much, he gave his only begotten son. What do you love the most? Huh? What do you love the most? Okay. What do you have with you that you love the most? Maybe you love your phone, you love your game, you love your car, whatever. Yeah, storybook. Yeah, storybook. Story okay. If I ask you for the storybook, can you give it to me? Can, if I ask you for that storybook, can you give it to me? You can give it. Sure? 101%. But you love it the most. And I won't give it back to you. I'll take it forever. He doesn't love the storybook much. <laughs> My point here was that if we love something so much, will you be able to just to give it to someone? No. Obviously, you'll say no, right? I don't know how come he's saying yes. <laughs> so, but the Bible tells us that God had only one son and he just gave it to the world. For who? For our sins. He had, not, he had nothing to gain from it. He had everything to lose. He bled that even his blood, his body ran out of blood and he started sweating water. 
And if there is a medical student here, you know if you, are, you lose more than 60% of your blood, you will die. But who did he die for? Us. All he wants in return from us is just to trust him. Since our topic today is about prayer, in open to Psalms 56. All of 56. All of 56. All of it. You want to know why I've asked you to read this? You can read it at home. We are running out of time. It's a, it is a long verse. Why I have chose this verse? Just because from Psalms, this is a prayer regarding trust. It is called the prayer, prayer for trust. You can read it at home, Adriel. Because you don't have much time and we'll have to go home. Unless you can read fast. I'll just read one verse from there. Major verse. Psalms 56 verse 3. Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. And verse 4. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what can flesh do to me. Anyone understood? Let me read it again. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I will pray, praise his name. In God, I put my trust. I will not fear what can flesh do to me. Flesh in this case is uh, uh, Satan or temptations in our life. This is a wonderful verse that teaches us about trusting God fully. We, don't, we should not trust him whole, uh, half-heartedly, but full-heartedly. Because trust is one thing that once you have broken it, it will never go back together again. If you break a glass, will you be able to put it back together again? That is trust. You will be able to put it together again like a glue, but it won't look the same it, you, like it used to look before. And so, this is my request to everyone and also our prayers, that when we go back home tonight, we will remember that we should not trust flesh. We should trust our Father in heaven. Who should you trust? Yes, Jesus also. Kon kon jai kela vez gare padi? Kon kon padi? Right. In order to trust God, you need to read the Bible every day and also pray. Bolli aata, kunchi mili? Manta jane? Sure. You will get to know more about the Bible. I'll thank you guys once again. I'll hand it over back to Aaron, and I hope you have learned something again. Just remember once again, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Man, thank you, Brother Joshua, for the lovely message. And uh, now we will go into testimony. Anyone has testimony that want to testify God, what he has done in his life or her life, in your life? Okay. No worries. Uh, I'd like to testify that thank you for, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe and my family safe. Amen.
our God does miracles every day in our lives. And we must thank the Lord for what he does every day. The bread of life, the food that we eat, the clothes that we wear. And thank you for the good health that we all have. We should always thank our Lord because we must trust our God. Amen.